Welcome back everybody to another episode of Art a la Carte. Today we're going to be learning how to draw a cat face. So a common thing happens when I do videos. I will either draw my video too easy and I'll have people say that's too easy, make it more challenging. Or I'll draw my video too hard and I'll have people say that's too hard, I can't draw it. So I'm going to do two versions, super duper easy cat face and then a little bit more challenging cat face. So let's start with the easy one first. So I start off with my basic shape, which is going to be my circle shape for the cat face. And then I'm going to put two triangles, one on each side for the cat ears, but I'm going to round them just slightly. Okay, and then I'm going to find my center of my circle, and on either side I'm going to put two circles, one, two and those are going to be for his eyes. And towards the corner, I'm going to put just a little bit of a tear duct. And then I'm going to put the pupils in there. And cat pupils are kind of slant slits like that. Then I'm going to go with, to the center right here and go down just a little bit. And I'm going to draw a bubble letter T. And that's going to be for the cat nose. And then I'm going to draw a kind of a W shape for the mouth and a little flat U shape for the underside of the mouth. And then I'm putting my whiskers coming out from the cheek areas. For the ears, I'm just gonna bring a line up, curve it up towards the center, and curve this line up there. Now, if you want to, you can go back over and you can make some jagged lines around here for kind of more indication of fur. But this is your basic setup for your cat face, for a really simple, easy cat face. So let's look at maybe a little bit more challenging one. Now the fun thing about this is it falls, follows a lot of the same things that we did in the easy cat face will go into this more um, challenging cat face. I'm going to use a pencil here because I'm going to erase a lot of my guidelines, but I'm going to go ahead and draw kind of um, an ovalish circle right in here. And I'm drawing really lightly and really loosely so I can get just the right shape that I want. And then I'm going to go straight down. I'm going to put another circle, not an oval so much, but a circle. And it's going to fit right smack dab in between those two. So it's going to be halfway between those. All right, so this is my base for my cat head. So right here where this line comes down, this is where I'm going to put the cat nose. I'm just going to first just block it in with a small oval circle and we'll get the shapes a little bit better. Then I'm going to come down for the cat lip just very slightly and kind of make um, kind of an upside down Y. Not so much a W like we did in the easy cat face because these are just going to be the lips. You can have it curve up or out just a little bit. And then we're going to put in just a little bit hint of where the chin will be. Now we're just kind of blocking everything in so we make sure that everything's in the right place before we get into some good details. Now I'm going to come up here for this on the sides of the cat's nose. And I'm going to draw some lines coming straight up um, that are kind of angled out just a little bit. They're not going to go straight up. They're going to come out slightly up to right about where the top of that circle is. And that's going to let me know where the cat eyes are. And so I'm just going to block those in with some circles just like that. And I'm going to take and continue this line almost to kind of chisel out my cat eyes. I'm going to have it come up and then wrap this part around. Okay, and then this part kind of comes out and then this bottom part of the lid just completes the circle. It just continues on with the circle. Just like that. Okay, now if I continue on with this line invisibly, but you can draw it out if you need to, and continue this one straight up, this is really going to let me know kind of where the main part of the ears are going to go. They're going to go just right here, kind of come up, and go to the edge of the face, just like so. So there's actually a really good space in between those. As the ears come down 
onto the cat head, they get a little bit closer. But if you just follow that line up, it really kind of gives you a good positioning for that. All right, so this cat head is pretty much blocked in the way we want it. Now we can go in and start adding some details to this. So I'm gonna take this here and I'm gonna bring these sides out along with that circle. And depending on if it's a short hair cat or a long hair cat, you would, of course, draw this a little bit differently, adding more fluff if it's a long hair cat. But we'll go with a short hair cat so we can see the structure a little bit better. So I'm gonna come out to the sides of this circle. And when it gets to the point where the circle starts to curve in, I'm going to curve it in, but I'm not going to follow this line. I'm going to curve it in so that it kind of looks like it's going to end up underneath this chin. But I'm not going to draw it all the way in because, because um, the cats really don't have a definition between their head and their neck. Their neck kind of just flows right out of their head. So I'm not going to end that off. I'm just going to put an indication. And that way I can then kind of pull down the cat's neck from there. Just like that. So it kind of indicates that there's... Um, the structure of the skull, but the skin is folding over this. So it kind of goes just like so. All right, now let's look at the details of the eyes. Okay, so we already have this kind of built up with a nice strong lids going up here like this, and then this wrapping around like so and coming off to a point down to here. This is a really good tear duct on this side and on this side. This bottom part here, you want to keep a nice circle with and then end up with a nice little tear duct for your cat. The inner tear duct is going to be much bigger than out here. And go ahead and give it some nice thick lids. But just make sure you keep that nice rounded shape. Depending on if your cat is in a really sunshiny area or a dark area, that the peoples will be doing totally different things. If it's in a really uh, sunlit area, they're just going to be just very narrow slits. You can get that really cool slit. If they're in a really dark area, that pupil is going to open up to almost be um, so wide that you can almost not even see the color of the eyes. I'm going to have it in immediate, kind of a medium lit area. And notice I'm not going with that total circle. I'm keeping that kind of um, slit of a lemon shape. Just like so. Now to make these a little bit more realistic, I'm going to add a little bit of shading to the towards the top and along the edges. And then this is fun. I'm going to take uh, my gummy eraser and I'm going to kind of pinch it till it's like a little bit of a cone shape. And I'm going to tap that on my drawing a little bit. And what it's going to do is going to pull up some of that lead and make it just a bit of a shine. And that really adds some life into your drawing. So there we have our cat eyes. Let's look at the nose. Okay, just like we did with the other drawing, the nose is actually kind of a T-shape. But I'm going to have it kind of start first wrapping kind of at a almost a slight bend upward. Kind of a bowing upward. Or I guess it's bowing down. The ends are bowing up, the middle bowing down. And then I'm going to have just a line coming down here for my end of my nose. And I'm going to bring that up. And it's going to come over to kind of a thick nose, kind of wrapping in on itself. If you're doing it far away, you can just do a really... Um, flat kind of upside down triangle shape would work for it. But if you're up close, you can actually see these kind of folds in there. Okay, and then the, the lips come and meet right up in here. I'm going to darken that in a little bit. And then darken in our little kind of y, upside down Y shape. Just like so. And it goes all the way back so the cats can yeah, you know, the cat's mouth is bigger than just this, but the the fur around um, the cat's mouth kind of overshadows it a little bit. And so when it gets out to this point, I'm going to start pulling in some of my kind of jaggy lines to kind of give it a little indication. Now, before I get into too much detail, I'm going to take an eraser and I'm going to erase my guidelines that I don't need anymore. 
So I have my picture all cleaned up, and now I can begin um, adding in some of the fur details. I'm going to finish up the ears, actually, and I'm going to actually have a line that comes down a little bit farther than this line here and goes up towards the point. This is going to be the fold of the cat's ear inward. Do the same thing on the side. And then inside the ear, it's just tons of, of uh, long hair. And so I'm just going to put some kind of jaggy lines in there to kind of indicate that, that long fur. And I'm going to bring down my cat's ear and then kind of get roughly towards the outside here. All right. And then even though this is a short-haired cat, I'm just going to kind of move my pencil back and forth and make these little kind of hash marks down along it. It's going to give a little bit more indication of fur. There's a little bit of a bridge of the cat's nose. And then the underside of the chin. So now you can begin um, adding in your markings for cats. And of course, cats come in all sorts of markings. Um, what I'll do is I'll use the side of my pencil to kind of outline the markings that I want. And then I can go ahead and add in just shading with my pencil. My cat's face. And then to get rid of this really harsh line that I have here, I'm going to go back over it and I'm just going to kind of take my pencil and just do some little hash marks in there. It's going to make it look a little bit like fur. And if you want to do that to the rest of this fur, just kind of add that texture. Remember, the more work you put into your picture, the better it's going to get. So we'll just put in a little couple more hash marks around here. Give it that nice texture. Also remember to, to send your hash marks out in the same direction that the fur would grow. So I'm not going to do my hash marks side to side. I'm going to do them kind of up and down in a diagonal, however that fur is going to go. And then you can take in and just scrub in some really extra dark marks for some extra lines, patterns that your cat might have. And notice I'm not doing just a solid straight lines. I'm going really jaggy because it'll break that up and give it that nice. Um... And then last but not least, let's go ahead and add in some whiskers. And I'm just going to very, very lightly put my pencil down and I'm just going to flick it out just very lightly. I don't want a long, thick line. And you can even put some, they have some growing kind of right out of their temple. Just like so. All right, so we have a finished cat head. Hopefully you found one of these two either a little bit more um, challenging or super easy. Whichever one you try, I hope you have fun. Please post your pictures that you draw on my Facebook page because I love looking at things that you guys draw. It's just super fun for me. Um, or you can always leave a video response to this video below. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos that we do. And thanks again for drawing with me. We'll talk to you next time. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.